Two more players we haven't talked enough about, Colt Keith of the Tigers and D.L. Hall of the Brewers, up next on Fantasy Baseball Today in 5. Welcome into FPT in 5 on Saturday, March 23rd. I am Frank Stanfield, joined by Scott White. And first up, we have Colt Keith, who was given a six-year extension by the Detroit Tigers this offseason. He's one of the top prospects in their organization. Last year in the minors, hit 306 with 27 homers and a 932 OPS. Though he's mostly played third base in the minors, he's expected to be the starting second baseman for the Tigers this season. Scott, how do you feel about Colt Keith, who's going around pick 280 over the past week? I think that value's fine. Obviously, he's a player with some upside and not getting nearly the attention that a, a lot of the other incoming prospects are getting, uh, thinking specifically of, of White Langford and, and Jackson Chorio. I, I, I think part of the reason is I, I don't expect Colt Keith to be as impactful. He has good minor league numbers, obviously. That's why he's even in this discussion. But... Yeah, well, he doesn't bring that speed element. And I think the power could be suppressed by his home park. It's it's Comerica Park is just stifling for power, especially to right center if uh, if Colt Keith is is going to drive the ball that way. And what hurts, you know, it, it hurts guys like Spencer Torkelson enough, but Spencer Torkelson hits the ball very hard. Colt Keith doesn't really. His average exit velocity... At AAA last year, 88.7 miles per hour max exit velocity. He did get that up, that up to 110, which is decent, but not amazing. And so I'm just not sure the I'm I'm not sure that environment is conducive for a player like Colt Keith. Now he may hit for a high enough average that we don't need him to hit 25 homers. Uh, but I, I don't think that's a sure thing either. Mainly what Mainly what steers me away from Colt Keith, even at that price, is Michael Bush is going like 80 picks later. Also third base eligible now, going to gain second. I'm sorry, going to gain first. Colt Keith's going to gain second. But I think Michael Bush, I, I like the data on him more. I mean, he's great at walking. He has better exit velocities. It's, it's going to be in a better park, Wrigley Field. And so I, I don't, I don't seem, I don't have much incentive to take Colt Keith with Michael Bush out there, even in those deeper leagues. All right, let's talk about D.L. Hall, who was acquired by the Brewers in the Corbin Burns trade this offseason. 25 years old, former top pitching prospect who has struggled mightily with control and some injuries. But there is an opportunity here, Scott, in the Brewers rotation. What do you think about D.L. Hall this year? Well, yeah, him getting traded to the Brewers in the Corbin Burns deal has kind of re rekindled interest in him as f in fantasy because it didn't seem like the Orioles were willing to give him an honest look as a starting pitcher because of his health history, because of his injury history, I should say, and because of his control issues. And look, those are still in play. I, I don't think I don't think we can eliminate those from the conversation with DL Hall, but. The Brewers acquired him to give him a shot as a starter. They're giving him a shot. And so I'm he might break through. That's a possibility. His fastball is exceptional. He gets a lot of whiffs with it. And I think that's the clearest indicator of upside for a pitcher is can you miss bats with your fastball? Uh, because there's so much you can do with your other pitches if, if you can do that. This spring, DL Hall has walked five and seven and a third innings at the, at the time of this recording. So it's not like there's much indication that he's, he's overcome that control hurdle. But if you're missing enough bats, you can be a, you can be a not, I mean, look, the reigning Cy Young winner in the NL Blake Snell, he walked five per nine last year. So it's possible. Uh, there are other sparps. I like more deal hall relief pitcher eligible. You can use him in that spot in a, in a points league, even though he's a starting pitcher. Um, DL Hall's a little lower on that list for me, but he has plenty of appeal. And, and if you're looking for strikeout upside late, he, he matters in Roto Leagues too. All right. For more extensive fantasy baseball coverage, listen to the Fantasy Baseball Today podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, the Odyssey app, or anywhere else podcasts are found. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Baseball Today in 5, and we will be back again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>